Hey, welcome to another tutorial from Photoshop is Fun. Now today what I want to do is cover my second sharpening technique. Now this technique is for inanimate objects in your photos or maybe landscape type of work. If you have um, uh, people or you're doing portrait work, then you're going to want to use the unsharp filter mask technique um, for sharpening. And I cover that in another tutorial. But for anything that has to do with like landscape stuff, this is the one you're going to want to use. So let's jump straight into it. All right, so this technique is actually fairly quick and uh, very easy to uh, execute. So what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and duplicate the background layer, and you can do that by either doing Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac um, on your keyboard, or you can just click the background layer and drag it down to the new layer icon, and that'll create a duplicate copy for you. And then what you want to do is go up to Filter and go down to Other, and then High Pass, and this is going to apply a High Pass filter to your image. And generally speaking, uh, what you're going to want to do is um, use your radius slider to go somewhere between um, 0.5 and uh, 4 on the high end usually. And what you're looking for is um, you want to get just the contrasting edges of your photograph to show through barely. And that will give you the right uh, amount of sharpening. Like right here, this is too much. In fact, if you can see a glow on your edges, you know you've gone way too far. So I'm going to go ahead and dial this way down to somewhere around the three area and then you can just see here that I just can see the lines coming through or bleeding through and then the rest is gray that's exactly what I want for this photograph so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now what I have to do next is remove this neutral gray and the way to remove neutral gray from a layer is to go ahead and change your blending mode to overlay so I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna come down to overlay and once I do that that'll remove all of the neutral gray but still keep the um, sharpened high pass uh, edges within my photograph now let me just show you the difference so I'm gonna zoom in over here on the um, engine area and you can see here this uh, these characters uh, CHRO it looks like now when I turn off this layer this high pass filter layer um, those will blur out a little bit so you can see the difference of when I turn it on and off so that really shows you how powerful the sharpening technique is for again landscapes or um, inanimate objects especially metal it works really nicely with metal so play around with this add it to your workflow if it makes sense for you then go ahead and create an action action script and it'll make it that much easier as you process your photos